Good morning, sir, and good morning, my dear friends. I am Aditya S S, and my role number is four. The work assigned to me is pelting turbine and smoking. Now, let's see what is that. Pelting turbine is a tangent flow inverse turbine which was invented by an American engineer, Ernest Allen Pelton, in the year 1890. And as I said, it is a tangent flow turbine and an impulse turbine. Basically, turbines are classified into two based on the energy available at the inlet as impulse turbines and tangent flow turbines. Here, our turbine, the inlet energy available at the inlet is purely kinetic energy, so it is known as a impulse turbine. And you can see the water water jets. You can see that water jet strikes the blades blades of the runner tangentially, tangent to the runner. So it is known as a tangent flow turbine. We all studied about the working of a hydraulic pump plants. So you can see here, water from the reservoir is brought up to this nozzle by a long and uh, broad penstock pipe. And at the end, you have you can see a nozzle is there. What is the purpose of the nozzle? This nozzle can increase the kinetic energy of the water flowing through the penstock. And finally, the water comes out of the nozzle as a high velocity jet. And this nozzle can, uh, this uh, sorry, the jet can uh, impinge on the uh, blades, blades, and uh, by that uh, that effect, uh, the runner rotates. And I will uh, say the details things later. And now uh, let us look. Uh, let us uh, look the parts. Here you can see. So first thing, a nozzle. And a flow regulating arrangement. Next, you can see a runner and bucket. These are the buckets, and then it is the casing. This thing is the casing, and here you can see a braking jet arrangement is also provided. First of all, we can uh, see the nozzle. Uh, I am discussing about the nozzle first. Uh, nozzle is an arrangement that is made. To increase the kinetic energy of the water flowing through the uh, penstock pipe, and we can see here a uh, 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 something like a spear is provided. This is a flow regulating arrangement. Actually, it is a conical needle, so that if it, it can be uh, pushed forward or backward, it can be controlled uh, automatically or it can be controlled by hand. It is a flow regulating mechanism. So if we push uh, push it forward, the amount of water leaving out of the nozzle will be reduced, so that the water jet, the amount of water uh, that is striking uh, on the uh, veins will be reduced. If we push it backwards, push it backwards, the amount of water flowing through uh, flowing through the nozzle increases. That is the arrangement, flow regulating arrangement. Next. Here we have a runner and uh, blades, veins. It is known as buckets or veins. Runner along runner is a circular disc. The along the periphery of it, uh, veins are spaced, which are fixed and equally spaced. These the shape. This has a particular shape, and the shape is known as um, double hemispherical shape, and they are cup shaped. Uh, actual shape of this double hemispherical shape, uh, cups are like this. Here you can see a spit arrangement. Water, uh, water jet uh, normally strikes on this um, spitter. Then it gets deflected through an angle of 160 degree or 170 degree. This uh, buckets are made up of uh, cast iron steel. Can be made up of cast iron. Then cast steel, bronze, or stainless steel. Then uh, I'm moving to the uh, casing arrangement. Casing arrangement can, has uh, no hydraulic function at all, and it is just it is uh, provided to preventing the splashing of water. Then to uh, guide the water to the tail rise, it is made up of cast iron or uh, fabricated steel plates. Finally, you can see a braking jet arrangement is here. This is a small nozzle. Uh, you know, uh, water is uh, striking continuously on the buckets. Due to that, even if we uh, if this is a, here, here is the nozzle arrangement. Uh, as I uh, said earlier, uh, we we can adjust the flow by regulating this uh, nozzle arrangement. Uh, it now consider the flow is completely stopped by using this nozzle arrangement uh, spear arrangement. But due to inertia, these buckets can rotate uh, for a long time. 
to uh, stop the rotation of this bucket in a short time uh, a braking jet arrangement can be used the jet strikes on the uh, braking jet strikes and on the back side of this uh, vane so that its rotation rotation can be stopped in a short time and this you can see uh, uh, a shaft arrangement is provided in the runner so it is it is coupled to the generator as the generator rotates uh, we can generate electricity uh, basically um, uh, hydraulic energy is uh, being converted to uh, mechanical energy first then this is converted being converted by the generator into electrical energy i hope i hope you understood the topic thank you for listening